Long time no see, huh? Yeah, I missed you. I really did. That's why I decided to film this. No matter the ambient, I'm at my job currently. Um, yes, at my work. In our little place. How is it called? And it's like at the doctor's, at the doctor's place. But um, I work alone at the Thursdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesdays. <laughs> uh, so I decided to use the opportunity and film a little something for you, even though it's not a perfect background, there might be some noises because there's people around and stuff, you know, but I don't care, really, because I missed you way too much, and I don't think it really matters in those times that everything should be perfect or anything, I think what matters most is that we are together, that we hang out as much as possible because we need some human interactions. That's why I decided to spend some time with you today, no matter what. <laughs> so I hope there will not be any too loud noises or else I might just cut them out or not, whatever, I want this to be as genuine as possible, just me rambling about stuff, trying to calm you down, spend some quality time together, you know, just calm down together, feel relaxed, and I have a little something prepared for you at the end of this video, it's a short meditation. Mm just to help you realign and balance some feelings and stuff we <laughs> I wanted to light this candle I actually found a candle in our place but I can't find a lighter I don't think we have any but it's a cute little candle uh, all festive and stuff smells delicious so if I can't light it I might as well just tap on it for a little while to set a mood or whatever it is it's really cute are those? yes they are and some red um, what are they called in English? those red fruits? little red balls <laughs> but I don't think they hmm. this seems kind of wrong or maybe if they're fake because a pine tree doesn't actually have those it's another tree with, with those bigger green leaves you know it? it's called... hmm... Božičný lesek, I think, in Slovenian like a Christmas... Christmas tree it's more like a Christmas bush but it actually grows quite so I don't think that's quite accurate, but still it's cute, it's cute. And I like this wooden background. It's cute. So let's put it aside. 
And let me just drink a little bit of my green tea, which I make every morning. It helps me. Helps me. I need to wake up a bit. It's been such a long time since I filmed anything. I feel kind of rusty, so excuse me for my English. I'm... I don't know. I could really use talking with some native speaker. Because it gets kind of weird, you know, after such time. I seem to forget how to speak properly but yeah I guess that's just how it is <laughs> so I wanted mm, to have a nicer background and I might as well show it to you it's quite wintry here already the trees are covered in white it's like it's frozen it's not snow but it looks so wonderful and in the morning when I'm driving to my work it's all misty and uh, white and frozen and it's, it's like a fairy tale I will show it to you for a moment but there's this problem because we don't have we have very bad lights here a few of them broken down and we need to change them but it takes time with our boss because he just doesn't care so that's why the lightning the lightning 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 isn't that well and when I wanted to have the background I mean, I wanted to for you to see out of our window, but it was too bright outside and the camera just kept focusing on the trees. I will show you. So, here's the magic trick. What the heck? The letter P light. Why isn't it working? Maybe. Oh, okay. So there's this wintry background. I might as well do that too. Look at that go. <laughs> so that's how it looks outside at the moment. So I wanted to have this background, but see, it just focuses on the trees and stuff. Focus on me, Bruce, for a moment. No, he doesn't want to. So, here's how it looks outside our job. It's quite a cool view. I mean, it would be even better if there weren't any buildings and you know, it would be just a forest and trees and a beautiful garden, but it's not how it is. So. Hooray, I'm back in the game. <laughs> Sometimes life just doesn't go according to plan, does it? It's almost the same with the current situation. So, I hope you're doing well, guys. I'm holding on. It's been... But we're here together. Please know that you're not alone. Can I touch your face? Yeah. You're not alone, you know. What do you do? Tell me down below. What do you do to feel better? Or to not get stressed? any fear I have 
have a few techniques myself. I mean, I think I'm doing quite fine. I still have my job. Kinda, even though it's, you know, my boss is quite old and um, he will soon retire, so. But it doesn't matter. We will survive. We put too much um, focus on those things, anyways. Job is not the most important thing. I just watched a cute little documentary, documentary, documentary uh, yesterday about the money and how it is just a projection of our minds. We just keep running after the money and feeling stressed about our existence as if we do not exist without a piece of paper. <laughs> you know. It's an interesting thing. Um, we still exist, so I try to focus on my spirituality, my spiritual path. So I kind of meditate a lot. I listen to um, interviews and stuff like that about our existence and those times. It's quite shaky at the moment. Uh, so there's this guy. I don't know if you actually heard of him before. Um, his name is Drunvalo Melchizedek. Um, I've been following him for a while now. Um, so you might want to check out if you're interested in those things. I can put um, the name and maybe some links, I don't know, in the description down below. He wrote some books about how to live in your heart and what is possible if you stay in your heart. So that's what I'm trying to do in those times. Just stay in my heart as much as possible. Just stay calm in my center, balanced. I go out a lot in nature and um, try to hear its messages. Uh, also, I'm working out. I mean, I do some yoga, some pilates. Uh, also, I started training something interesting. It's called Magical Passes. Uh, Carlos Castaneda wrote about it in his books, if you are somehow familiar with that. Um, those are some old traditional shamanic practices that some shamans came up with in their higher states of consciousness. And it consists of different movements combined with breath techniques and it's a really powerful tool to um, um, help you stay in your center, to stay balanced, to feel empowered, to gain your power back if it has been taken by some outside things, such as this whole situation maybe. And it really boosts your immune system, there's a lot of benefits and um, I really feel much stronger since I'm practicing this. It's been a few months. So I recommend you find something that works for you. There are so many stuff out there. If you just if you just don't stop being curious and if you just explore, uh, there's a lot of stuff and a lot of meditations. Um, so those are the main things I've been doing and of course dancing, singing, painting. Which I must say, I need, I need a little kick in my ass. <laughs> Seriously, guys, I've been wanting to start painting something else than mandalas for quite a while now, but I, I don't know why. I just, I keep delaying it. I keep delaying this for a bit too long now, I guess. I don't know why, I need to gain the courage. I need to do the techniques a bit more. <laughs> I guess. I don't know why I'm afraid to paint something else. Like, I'm never good enough, you know, in my head. I think, yeah, you don't know how to do it. You're not this and you're not like that. And blah, 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 you know, those kind of things. So, this is one thing that I want to work on besides staying cool 
Well, so there's this theory that if you create from your heart, you just need to learn. It's, it's such a short path from your mind to your heart. The shortest, it's maybe 20 centimeters, but the longest journey for some. It's not that simple, but it's quite easy. Or the other way around. It's simple, but not easy. Yeah, that's what it is. But it really changes a lot when you create from your heart. Like everything is in here. The whole space, the whole universe, the whole existence. Your dreams that can merge with reality. Everything is possible in there. And it's really such a wow moment when you realize that. And things get a lot easier. I mean, it's still shaking outside because we live in such turbulent times. The world is changing. The earth is becoming a new place. The consciousness is changing. But, yeah. I don't want to bother you with this too much. If you don't know what I'm speaking about, uh, but if you're interested, let me know, I can tell you a bit more, or just do some research on your own. Um, we will do a little meditation today, designed by Adrian Wallo. I really like it, it's a short one, and it's just the beginning, you know. Just to get a glimpse of what he's teaching, and then, if it helps you, you might want to do some more. Uh, it's really similar to like lucid dreaming. The, the place is kind of... I mean, I'm starting to think it's the same place. I don't know, <laughs> you know. Uh, but okay, enough about that. I hope... Yeah, I have so much to tell you. <laughs> it's really been a while. I mean, I've been thinking about filming, I hope it will work out, that I use those days in work. Maybe I'll film something at home, either, I don't know. And just not caring about the traffic, because there's really loud at our place. But it's kind of quieter now, since we have this um, hour, police hour, I don't know how it's called in English. We have to be at home <laughs> uh, past 9 p.m. and until 6 a.m. in the morning. So the traffic kind of slowed down a bit, so maybe I might be able to film something. I have some ideas. Uh, maybe I'll do, since I'm in my working environment, um, a little medical stuff. There's also a lot of triggers around. Let me show you one. This is the the thing for the ECG, electrocardiogram. We call it EKG, like with the K. <laughs> I think those would make quite nice sounds. So I'm thinking about doing some random medical triggers or maybe a, um, maybe a nurse checkup or something medical. Um, also, there's been some requests for uh, reading in German <laughs> again. This video of mine is really popular. I'm quite <laughs> impressed <laughs> uh, with the amount of views it got. So I might be doing something in German. Uh, just to let you know, I didn't forget about all the requests. Also, a lot of Slovenians wrote me to speak in my native language more. So, there will sure be something like that too. Let's be surprised and let's just... Let's just explore this world together. I don't want to stop filming even now when I don't have like perfect environment to do so, but I just want to spend some time with you guys and I hope some of you will stay and 
like it, I don't know. We'll see what happens with this, right? So... Yeah. <laughs> We do this meditation, okay? Here's the book If you might be interested I will put some links down below So, here's the guy <laughs> Let's find it It's somewhere near the end It's just a little Have you ever heard of the unity breath? This is something I like to do before each meditation or before some other practices um, or some ceremonies. It's really nice to just connect with Mother Earth and Father Sky and to feel as their child. You know? Um, it's a nice thing to do alongside the breathing techniques but we might get into those kind of stuff in some other videos if you'd be interested we could do some breathing exercises together or something like that okay i hope you're feeling all right and relaxed this is quite random i need to get back in the filming routine so i'm sorry if this is all over the place i don't something okay so calm down the main thing is that you find a place where you can sit or lay down comfortably that you feel relaxed warm that you have a quiet place and no one will interrupt you yeah that's basically it and just keep an open mind I will read that to you. You can just close your eyes if you want. I mean, it's quite mandatory to close your eyes. It's got to be in as dark place as possible, or maybe you can use a bandana or something to cover your eyes. Okay. Make sure you did this. You can pause the video. Breathe out the mist. Breathe in again. Breathe in the love, the light. And exhale a colorful mist. Feel your body relaxing. Feel your heart beat slowing down. Then try to imagine a place in nature that you feel is beautiful. And visualize this place in as much detail as you can if you are one who does not see but the senses in other ways then use the other ways to see to feel we all have our own way 
feel the love you have for nature and Mother Earth. Let this love grow in your heart until you feel it in your whole body. Try to see this love expanding all around you. Expanding and expanding and expanding. When the time feels right, take your love and put it into a small round sphere. And with your intention, send it down deep into the earth, to the very center of the earth. Let your Divine Mother know how much you love her. Let her feel your love. I love you, Mother. Really feel it, feel it descending, feel how you send your love to Mother Earth, then wait for Mother Earth to send her love back to you. When you feel this love from your mother, enter your energy body. Just let it move in any way and any place. Just let it be. Feel the flow. Feel the flow of love between you and Earth. You can stay here as long as you wish. When the time seems right, Without breaking the flow of love between you and your Divine Mother, shift your attention to your Divine Father. In your inner vision, see or sense a night sky, the Milky Way, the depths of space. See the planets and the moon glowing in the night sky and feel the presence of the sun hidden far beneath the earth. Let yourself feel the love you have for all the rest of creation and your Divine Father. When the time feels right, Put your love in a small sphere and send it into the heavens with the intention that it go directly to your Divine Father. Send it to the grids around Earth, the Sun or the Great Central Sun. Let your Father know how you feel. Let him feel the love and wait. Wait for the love from your Divine Father to come to Earth and enter your body. When it does, let it move in any way and to any place. Don't try to control this love. Feel it. Feel it with your heart. At this moment, the Holy Trinity is alive on Earth. The Divine Mother, Divine Father, and you, the Divine Child. You are the child of the universe. Know that you are being loved. You are loved by our Mother and you are loved by Father Sky. You are not alone. There are many forces that are keeping you safe at this very moment. You are saved and you are loved 
in the place of your heart. You are joined in pure love. It is a sacred moment in its own right. So just be with your divine parents and feel the love. From this place of pure love, open to the awareness of the presence of God, who is all around you and who lives within you. Simply be aware of and feel this union of cosmic forces and breathe the breath of life. Breathe in and breathe out. You can slowly open your eyes. Feel your body again. Move your body. Come back. Hi there. I hope you liked this little chit chat. Hope you feel a bit more relaxed than you did at the beginning. Um, and yeah, see you soon. <laughs>